नमस्कार हाय आई शेफ कुलदीप सिंह गौर वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर विद सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे प्रेजेंटिंग ए मॉड्यूल अबाउट द वेरियस पेस्ट व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन द पेस्ट्री सेक्शन वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ क्रीम वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ फिलिंग एंड वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ सॉसेज व्हिच आर यूज्ड इन द पेस्ट्री सेक्शन सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट्स ऑल दीज इंग्रेडिएंट्स Wow, how we make all these things what are the ingredients are used what are the exact definition of these what kind of creams we use in the preparation of the pastry section what kinds of various fillings which are used or which are normally used in by the pastry section of the hotel or the professional pastry section or the proper or the professional bakers so first of all i will like to i will I like to explain and i would like to discuss all these things in a few words we can say i will just brief you i, I will just describe you about the what exactly these things i'm not discussing in the very too deep but just i am discussing about the definition what is the definition of these how we are preparing this and what exactly these are and what are their roles in the pastry section what are their roles in the bakery section so first of all in this uh, queue first of all i would like to discuss about the dessert so what is the dessert dessert is a sweet dish served as the final course of the meal where it is usually served it is served as a final course of the meal the word was first recorded in 1600 and it derives from a french word meaning to clear the table what was the exact word to clear the table it is derived it is originated or we can say it is generated from the word clear the table in the french the meaning clear the table means what are the meaning of the clear the table means just before clearing the table what you are serving if suppose guest is sitting on the table and how you will ask to the guest if guest is not standing from the table he is not leaving the table how you will ask you will ask for the dessert then if he is interested then he will order the dessert and otherwise he say okay no i don't want the dessert please give me a bill so that this is the indirect way we can say it is the uh, we can the sophisticated manner to ask to the guest for leaving the table we can say to clearing the table so what is dessert sir no so now I, i hope now meaning of the dessert you have already cleared about the meaning you have already cleared when it was originated you have cleared what is the uh, what is the meaning of the dessert and when it is served. when it is served it is served in the final course of the meal when it was started when it was comes in the existence at the time of 1600 and what the meaning of this the clear of the table the etymology is still reflecting current table service where it is customary to remove everything from the table that not being used like salt paper speakers bread baskets sometimes even flowers before serving to the nature so how we are serving the dessert on the table when you are serving the dessert on the table clear the table properly don't leave anything like salt paper cruet set like the left over food like table like plates like used cutlery crockery everything you need to clear only leave just glass of water and if you can leave the badwas the flower pot you can leave or sometime some places they people remove the flower pot also you just make a new layout you may just make the fresh layout or if you have already layout you make the layout for the crockery uh, or ready layout for the cutlery on all in the advance only then okay if you not have layout laid this one you make the fresh layout then you serve your digit so we can say this is the 
correct way or the correct procedure of serving the desert in the meal or in the restaurants. So this is a little introduction about the desert. After the digits, I will like to discuss about the pastes which are used in the pastry section. If you talk about the paste, normally when you heard the name paste, so what image is generated in your brain? Maybe they are in the semi-liquid form, but not if it concerns about the pastry section, this is not like this. They may be quite semi-solid form also. Let's look like dough also. Quite thicker base also. So we use a lots of types of we have the various types of paste which are used in the pastry sections. What are these? Even some doughs are all, some dough are also called the paste. Example of paste. Not only the liquid, but dough also called as the uh, dough also called the paste. Like the the correct example of this is the puff paste. Some of the paste are used as a filling, and some are used as a base. Some paste are used as a filling, and some paste are used as a base. Normally. When we listen the name of the paste, the first image is the this normally this, we think or we thought that they are used for the filling only or just coating, but not this is not true. Truth is, some of the paste are also can be used as a base also. We can make the different kind of fillings in that one, and some of the paste are used in the just for the filling purpose only, like. Short paste, sweet paste, shoe paste, marzipan, talman paste, kule paste, and puff paste. Later on, I will discuss one by one all the things, all kind of the paste. So first of all, what was the first? Short paste. What is the short paste exactly? How we make the short paste, and what is the use of the short paste in the pastry section? We used to make crisp and brittle. Crisp and brittle to make we use the short paste. If we talk about the taste, they may be savory and not sweet. Means either savory or either not sweet. How they are made? How they are made? Made by rubbing chilled butter with flour, rubbing the chilled butter with flour until we get the sandy texture. How we take the butter? We just rub the butter with the flour until it gets the sandy texture. What the meaning of the sandy texture? Means until it removes all the lumps from the flour. Another ingredients or another things we use to make the dough, to make the paste, is the chilled water is also added if required. And dough is made. Unnursing to gluten is developed, and after that, we leave it to develop the. Gluten. What is the benefit of the developing the gluten? It gets this dough gets the elasticity. This dough gets that to get the elasticity in the dough. We leave it to develop the gluten. Use of short crust. Where it is normally used, it is used in the short crust, tarts, pie, flans. And these are prepared from this dough to prepare the kinds of tart, like apple tart, like pineapple tart, like 
एप्पल पाय पाइन एप्पल पाय डेट पाय वेरियस टाइम्स ऑफ पाई प्लान क्विज ऑल दीज प्रिपरेशन यूज दिस शॉर्ट पेस्ट डो नेक्स्ट इज स्वीट पेस्ट वट इज स्वीट पेस्ट वट इज दी कैन से द टेक्स्चर ऑफ द स्वीट पेस्ट दिस इज यू दिस इज ऑल्सो शॉर्ट इन टेक्स्चर दिस इज ऑल्सो शॉर्ट इन टेक्स्चर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द टेक्स्चर ऑफ द स्वीट पेस्ट इफ इट इफ वी चेक द टेस्ट ऑफ द स्वीट पेस्ट इज द स्वीटेस्ट इन टेस्ट unlike the short paste unlike the short paste sweet is in the paste at the you seen that short paste was how the short paste the short paste it was savory and not sweet but this is sweet in taste this is sweet or sweeter in taste what are the ingredients in which we use in this cream butter sugar and add the egg we take the cream butter sugar and add, take the egg and lightly fold in the flour we lightly make the fold in the flour when you are making the sweet paste do not over mix to it do not over mix to it then chill this paste in the refrigerator for an hour before using at least 1 to 2 hours you supposed to refrigerate this mixture this paste what are the use of this it is used for the biscuits pastes of the desserts tarts pie and flanks in the preparation of the desert like tart like pie and flans plains we use the sweet paste next is the shoe paste what is the shoe paste exactly paste used for making many savory and sweet products paste used to making many savory and sweet products we use the shoe paste how we make what is the method of the preparation of the shoe paste consistency between dough how this is consistency this if we talk about the consistency of the sweet paste shoe paste its consistency between the dough and the batter means this we can say the very soft dough this is not the batter and this is not the dough also consistency between the dough and batter how we make this one what is the procedure of making the shoe paste to making the shoe paste we use the eclairs how where we use the shoe paste which are the products in which the shoe paste is used in the preparation of the eclair gato saint onos are the some of the preparations where we use the shoe paste what are the proportions or what are the things we supposed to keep in mind while preparing we are using or we are preparing the shoe paste you should keep in mind that it should not be overcooked or it should not be undercooked also not overcook the flour and not undercook the flour what the meaning of the overcook and undercook means don't make it extra cooking and don't make it light cooking it supposed to be cooked in the proper manner if you make it overcook then also the product can get the spoilage you cannot get the product what desired product or if you leave it undercook then also not possible that you cannot get the desired expected product when this is egg if we talk about the egg when the egg supposed to be used in the shoe paste in the shoe paste 
egg supposed to be used only when the mix has been cooled down to 65 degrees centigrade the egg only used when the mixture has cooled down to 65 degree centigrade not before this not earlier then add the eggs one by one not one time only if you are using the one time only your product can be can get a spoil maybe your egg can be overcooked or maybe it will left undercooked only so this problem will not occur this problem will not develop we add, add the egg one by one or sementationally we add the egg next is margarine what is margarine exactly what the purpose of the margarine paste of almonds and sugar kneaded into the dough form paste of almonds and sugar we take the almond we make the take paste of the almond then add the add the sugar and knead it into dough knead like dough we are normally they are used they are normally used by the industrial purpose what are the purpose of this margarine margarine are used to decorate the moldings into the figure fig, figures to decorate the moldings to figures what we do what the perceptions mock margarine margarine is a white color if we talk about the color it is a white white color it can be colored as per the choice usually naturally the color of margarine is the white but if you have the choice you want to make the like orange color you want to like to make the pink color or you want to make for the presentation you are you want to add some another kinds of the color you can add this is up to you this is your choice but originally margarine is only in the found in the white color how we make we make the dough of the almond and sugar next is the almond paste what the almond paste exactly this is this is cream friendly pani how we prepare made by combined margarine sugar combined remember margarine sugar butter egg yolk and flour what we use in the margarine we use the almond and sugar only here we are using the margarine means almond sugar then butter also we used in the same dough and we add the egg yolk and the with some amount of the flour then we make the almond paste what is the use use as a filling for the tarts pies and flans used in filling of classically gato and used for making the almond pocha these are the basic preparations of the almond paste next is tuli paste what is the exactly tuli paste tuli paste are used for decorations after baking it can be molded into various shapes which is still hot and then it becomes crisp and brighter then it becomes crisp and brighter various types of various types of tuiles tuile are the ice various types of tuile are the ice cream garnish used in the ice cream garnish and for the presentation of the desserts and the pastries tuile paste are or tuile are used in the garnishing of the ice cream in the guys uh, desserts in the presentations or normally it is used in the presentations only to giving the presentation to giving the look to the presentation we use it next is cream 
as you know about the cream we have previously also we discussed a lot about the cream so if we talk about the cream cream is more than just a dairy cream we have the kinds of cream available in the market in the pastry section what are the various kinds of cream which are available in the pastry sections are like pastry cream chantilly cream capri butter cream lemon curd cream and truffle cream these are the various kinds of cream which are available in the kitchen or which are available in the pastry sections we can say what are these again i am repeating pastry cream chantilly cream capri butter cream lemon curd cream and truffles are the basic creams which are used in the preparation of the pastry section now one by one i will be elaborate elaborate all these kinds of the cream what are the these creams and how we prepare and what are the proportions and what are the use of these particular creams all things i will discuss in this first of all i will like to discuss the cream pastry cream what the norm, normally we call this cream or the patisserie we call this cream patisserie what the speciality of this it can be baked how we prepare this it is made by the boiling milk with sugar vanilla custard powder flour oblique we can use the corn flour also and eggs and chilled before it is supposed to be used prima patisserie how we making what are the major ingredients in the prima patisserie milk with sugar vanilla custard powder flour corn flour and egg are the major ingredients we can say of the cream patisserie pastry creams can be combined with in one part of the whipped cream if we talk about the pastry cream how we prepare the pastry creams normally pastry cream cream one part we use the one whipped cream and the pastry cream we prepare by this it can be mixed with one part of the marine and whipped cream to make the cream see about see about it can be used as filling for host dishes like pie like cobbles it is next is chantilly cream what is the chantilly cream dairy cream whipped with sugar and vanilla is called the chantilly cream use the normal dairy cream whipped with sugar and the vanilla why we using the vanilla to enhance the flavor of the sugar so dairy cream whipped with the sugar and vanilla is called the chantilly cream and that in concept of the imitation cream cream in whipping whip only chilled and do not over whip or whip huge in fillings or layer of the cakes and the pastries where it is normally used it is used it is used in fillings or to layer the cakes and the pastries and can be colored and flavor as per the choice so where it is used normally it is used in the cake in the cakes between the layers in the pastries we can add the kind of flavor we can add the kind of color also to make a good kind of texture of it to look make a good kind of presentations it can be used next is capri cream what is exactly capri cream variation of cream chantilly it's called the capri cream if you make a variation in the chantilly cream it's called the capri cream 
How we make this? Cream is whipped without sugar. Cream is whipped first without sugar. Then one by fifth part of the whipped cream is replaced by the broken piece of the meringue. One by five, one by fifth part of the whipped cream is replaced by broken piece of the meringue. So this is about the little bit about the capri creams. Now next is the meringues. What is exactly meringues? What is exactly meringue? Meringue is a beaten form of egg, white, and sugar. Meringue is a beaten form of egg, white, and sugar is called as meringue. If we beat the egg white with sugar, it's called the meringue. What is the use? It can be used as a pie topping to lighten other mixtures and after being baked to crisp layer or shell used as the foundation of the various cakes and desert normally used. Another about the more things about the marine is the simple uncooked marine is made by beating egg white, then beating in sugar until a very stiffy and shiny packs form. How what are the procedure of making the marine? Made by beating, we make with the beating the egg white, then beating the sugar until a very stiffy and shiny pet forms. Eats form. Next about the, next thing about the marine marines is the marines are cooked marine is more stability. Cooked marines is the more stability. You can say the cooked marines are more stable. Another things about the marine, marine are, or we can say the various types of marine are. First is Swiss marine, another is the Italian marine, and third is the French marine. We have the three kinds of marine in, available in the market. Swiss, Italian, and the French marine. Now I will discuss what is the Swiss, what is Italian, and what is French marine. So in this, Swiss marine is the egg white and sugar heated our simmering water. Egg white and sugar is heated over the simmering water, then beaten, beaten until long, tall peak foam, and the marine is cold. You beat this mixture until it gets its volume. Until it gets the volume, the meringue is, then the meringue is get cold. You keep this thing in the fridge or in the deep fridge. Italian meringues, if we talk about the Italian meringues, what are the Italian meringues? Before we discuss about the Swiss meringue. Now I'm talking about the Italian meringue, what is the Italian meringue? Sugar syrup, cooked it to the firm. Ball stage beaten into the whipped egg white and then whipped until cold. Then whipped until it becomes cold. Next thing French marine. What is the French marine exactly? French marine is a simple mixture of egg white. French marine is a simple mixture of egg white and sugar. Simple mixture of egg white and sugar that is used to make baked marine and marine cells. French marine, the mixture of egg white and sugar is called the French marine. If we talk about the usage of the French marine, it is used to make baked marine and marine cells. This is little about the marine. This is little about the types of marine.
how we are preparing the marine, marine, what are the types of the marine we are having. So all these things we have already discussed. Now I will talk about the, after this, we have the butter cream. What is the exactly butter cream? What is the purpose of the butter cream? Unsalted butter creams with icing sugar can be used. A smooth, but if you talk, of, if you use this formula, what will you got? A smooth and fluxy, a smooth and fluffy mixtures we get. Next is the used and filling for the cakes and pastries. Use as a filling for the pastry and cakes and mostly used in the icing purpose. Type of the buttercream are the Italian, French and Swiss buttercreams. Normally, they are used in to fill the whole levels of the bread. We can say the used to fill the whole of breads. Next is the lemon curd cream. What is the exact lemon curd cream? Commonly known as lemon curd. Commonly known as the lemon curd. How the taste? If we talk about the taste, these are sweet or sour in the taste. Egg yolk, butter, sugar, and lemon juice. And lemon juice are slowly cooked on a bean marie until thick custard is obtained. We wait for what? We wait for the thick custard. When the thick custard will come, then your marine is ready. Can be used in various ways like fillings, like toppings. So various ways, fillings and toppings. Lemon marine pie is a very famous dessert made from IT. Very famous deserts made Almighty. This is little bit about the marines. Next is the Lemon curd cream. What is exactly lemon curd cream? Lemon cream, cold as lemon curd cream, is normally known as the lemon curd. What is the taste? Sweet and sour. More about egg yolk, butter, sugar, and lemon juice are slowly cooked. What we cook this time in this? Egg yolk, butter, sugar, and lemon juice are slowly cooked on a bain marie until it thick and custard is off. Thick custard is Obtain can be used in various ways like fillings, like toppings. Lemon marine pie is a very famous dessert made from IT. Next is glance and truffles. What is exactly truffles and what is the glance? In this, what is the glance? Cream is bought. To a boil and cream is brought to boil and chopped chocolate is added into the ratio of one part of the cream and half part of chocolate. It's the ratio. But when you are preparing the truffle, cream is brought into a boil. First, we brought to boil and chopped. Then we make the chocolate. Chocolate is added in the ratio of the one part cream and one and half part with the chocolate. Next is the mixture is cooled down and then whipped it to a creamy consistency. Then 
And did, if you can't call about the truffles. Ganache is used to filling of the cakes and the pastries. And but in the truffle, if we talk about the truffle, truffle is warmed slightly till it becomes flow and it's used to glaze the top of the chocolate cakes. It can be used as a filling to the product of the dark chocolates, truffle cakes, and they are very, very rich. Truffles are rich. They are used to give the sign to the product. They are, if we talk about the these paste, these sets to the dark creamy. If we talk about the color, this is dark creamy paste. So these are little bit information about the the nas and about the truffles. Lemon cream also we have. We have kinds of cream we have also discussed. We have kinds also glands also discussed. We have. So after this, this concept I hope you have clear. Now I will like to share the kinds of sauce which are used in the pastry section. What are the various kinds of sauce which are used in the pastry section are? Like puree based, chocolate based, cream based, cream, and less. So different from if we talk about the the sauce are totally different from the western sauce how they are different from the west western sauce because western sauce are normally spicy sauce but these sauce are sweetest in taste if we talk about the ingredients what ingredients we use in this egg and sugar these are the egg and sugar based sauce what are the common ingredients we use in this or we can say which are the various base of the sauce, like chocolate based sauce, like cream based sauce, like puree based sauce, like soya beans based sauce, or cream based sauce. This is about the kinds of sauce which are based on different different things. Next, now I talk about the egg based sauce. What is the exactly egg based sauce? Cream eglisa, milk cream is cooked with sugar and egg yolk until the sauce is poured the back of the spoon. Now we are cooking. Milk cream is cooked with sugar and egg yolk until the sauce poured to the back of the spoon. We have to check. We touch to the back of the spoon. Then we see that it's getting coating to the spoon. Then it is ready. This is the cream eglisa. How we are making this? We cook the sugar and egg yolk and cream. What can what are the uses of this? Can be flavored with vanilla, just of citrus fruit, maybe orange. You can take the zest of the orange, you can take the zest of the lemon. So you can use for the flavor vanilla or the zest of the citrus fruits. Brandy also can be used for the flavor or any another kinds of liqueurs. As per your choice, you can use to make it flavorful. Next is soya bean, egg yolk, sugar, and a small amount of the liquid such as liqueur is whipped over the double boiler until it light and fluffy. This is the method. What are the ingredients? How are we preparing? So we have been egg yolk, sugar, and a small amount of liquid. It's such as liqueur. It's whipped over on a double boiler until it gets a light and fluffy texture. So this is the cream analysis. This is egg-based sauce. Another sauce is the puree-based sauce. How we're preparing the puree-based sauce? Fruit puree. Fruit cooked with sugar and sweet and 
sugar and then stew the sauce can be pure can be puree to form a pure sauce can be served as it is a pureed food mixed with raw dried fruits to make a fruit salsa normally where it is used normally they are used in the fruit salsa another is the chocolate based what is chocolate based sauce what is the name of the sauce sauce we can say the chocolate sauce how we are preparing the chocolate sauce add sugar syrup to the truffle and use a sauce whipped garnish with with whipped ganeshi can be used as a sauce uses of the various chocolate sauce i uh, like milk white or dark chocolate can be used for the chocolates chocolate sauce what kind of chocolates we can use we can use the white chocolate we can use the dark chocolate and milk and sugar is normally used in the preparation of the chocolate sauce now next is the cream based sauce what is the cream based sauce what is the meaning of the cream based sauce how we prepare the cream based sauce to prepare the cream based sauce we reduce the cream with sugar cream is reduced with sugar and flavoring and same concept as that of the barley bread crema crema elaz sugar mixed with the cream to the form a butter scotch sauce this is the cream based sauce example if we talk about the example of the cream based sauce is the butter scotch sauce next is flavoring which are used in the sauce what are the various flavorings which are commonly used in the sauce or what are the flavorings we commonly use in the in the preparation of the sauce are the like acid in the acid you can use the lemon juice kinds of various kinds of extracts various kinds of essences herbs and spices cinnamon cloves nutmeg green cardamom are the kinds of herbs which are most commonly used in the pastry sauce preparations we can use the fruit paste which are commercially available next is the spirits and liqueurs are are also can be used in the flavoring of the sausage so this is the little introduction about the kinds of sauce kinds of their flavoring how we making that deep sausage so all these things we have already discussed rest of the things about the classical desserts made with the basic sponge cream i will discuss in the later on with the next video thank you for watching this video now i am closing my session over here only before closing will please help me to solve this quiz so in this question is marine marine is prepared from marine is prepared from sugar egg white sugar egg yolk sugar egg all the above next option royal icing is is prepared from royal icing is prepared from options are 
एक व्हाइट प्लस आईसी शुगर एक प्लस शुगर शुगर प्लस एक जो वन ऑफ दिया बोल विच ऑफ विच वन इज नॉट आईसी ऑप्शन सा रॉयल आईसी फ्रोस्टिंग घनास एंड सब लोग बट विच वन इज नॉट आईसी रॉयल आईसी फ्रोस्टिंग घनास नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन चॉकलेट स्टफल इज प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रॉम ऑप्शन सा बटर एंड चॉकलेट्स चॉकलेट्स एंड एग पाइप अप्लाइंग क्रीम फॉर केक नेक्स्ट ऑप्शन अप्लाइंग ऑफ द क्रीम ऑफ द केक इज आल्सो नोन एज टॉपिंग मराइन आइसिंग टेजेस करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज द आइसिंग नेक्स्ट फंक्शन ऑफ आइसिंग इंप्रूव फ्लेवर एड मॉइस्चर increase the self life next of question which one is not itching which one is not icy marzipan double cream mashed potato on them fruits are topping icing preserving agents none of your correct answer is the topping So thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I will come with the next topic. Thank you. Thank you, sir.